Welcome back to Snake Eater. So yeah, let's finally take down the Shagahod. Are you a bad the... enough dude to defeat the communism, I guess? Yes. The Shagahod, a weapon not to surpass Metal Gear. Yeah, well, at the very least the Soviet style of communism will end up defeating itself, so... Among other things, yeah. So yeah, most of the people here are just scientists. Um, they'll, they'll alert to your presence and uh, and call for, for soldiers to come in if they see you, so you should still be careful. And there's still a couple soldiers here and there, like that one you could see right there. Um, so right. Stuff just keeps bringing us back to Red Faction, but I digress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Pedro doesn't kill everybody. Yeah. No, he does the sensible thing and tranks them. He's more methodical, do you Right. For the most part. For the most part, yeah. I, I, he I, has I, had some YOLO moments. So, so, sometimes, I'll, uh, sometimes, just for variety's sake, I'll decide to just go Rambo, because why the fuck not? But, Speaking okay, of Rambo... I, can, I, cannot even, I cannot even imagine David Hater having to scream like Red Brown while shooting. <gasps> no. <laughs> well, going off of Smash Bros. voice clips, he can do a hearty scream. Yeah, don't forget. Remember, remember, like, his game over scream in the first MGS one. <laughs> so... You know, honestly... Uh, it still boggles my mind that the Rambo video game turned out as bad as it was. It, it seemed it was like big, it was because remember the studio, which yeah. was which was Polish, uh, did not really have that much budget nor um, time to work on it, uh, which well, it, was, it was ultimately proven with the, instead of Terminator game. And yeah, judging from, Terminator one. And judging from the trailers, uh, even the Robocop game is actually shaping up to be on the same level. Yeah, also, um, right. they are doing a Robocop game. Neat. Also, uh, Joe, um, Joe, what, what are you talking about? There is, there is a good, um, there is a good uh, Rambo game. Oh, Mortal oh. Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was a Terminator game mixed with a Batman game mixed with, uh, with the kitchen game. sink. But yeah, no, I mean, Mortal Kombat 11 is I cool. Mean, um, I'm sure I'm looking forward to the Invincible game coming up with Mortal Kombat 1. Sure. <laughs> also, I love that in order to convey the situation, the music has completely stopped. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's for the sake of tension, yeah. It's mm. so they can all well, see. I mean, that is true, but you can argue they could have equally put uh, something to to create to actually create the tension energy. Well there's a lot of sections in the okay. jungle there's lots of sections in the jungle where there's no music either, so this is oh, something no, I that... understand, but again, those tend to be relatively early in the game earlier in the game and uh, to symbolize instead, you know, the quietness of the ambient. While instead in this we're pretty much at the end of the game and the situation is actually tense. So again, on the same level it could be something like, you know, the a very ambient, uh, like some low-key ambient, uh, that could work, but no, instead we actually still choose uh, to, to still be quiet. Uh, like, I understand it, uh, but again, I, I still recognize it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the basic idea of, uh, is we have to put some... Uh, C3, not C4s, C3. Yeah. Because uh, the, probably C4s were not even invented at this point. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have to put the C3 on, the, on those uh, specific things that look like... Uh, Big chests or something. If I correctly, they are supposed to be like electricity conductors, uh, and mm -hmm. that's, because that's ideally supposed to actually, you know, stop the Shagahal because before it even activates. Uh. And as we know from this franchise, uh, we always manage to sabotage Metal Gears before they can activate. Uh. Well, in some ways we do. Also, the was, really, my uh, dude, you were okay, crouching there. there. What was? <laughs> Sorry. Closest I can think of it was the NES port, uh, where Snake needs to just input a set of codes to to bombard the thing uh, from the from a, from a different room, but that's it. We sort of did unknowingly kind of sabotage the Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid 2. Again, you know, that was kind of the Patriots playing 4G chess, but I digress. Oh, Ryan still had to fight a shitload of rays, huh? Sure it was. Oh, yeah, as silly as that was, but again, though, I mean, they were technically sabotaged, so, I mean, okay, the thing is, yes, we do tend to often get to sabotage Metal Gears. The problem is that 
even when sabotaged, there's still Metal Gears to deal with. Mm hmm. I think my favorite is still Rex, though. Like, Rex, I feel, encompasses oh, awesome Metal mate. Gear the best. Hmm? Calorie Mate, Dweeb. So, we, we have you know, a discussion with Paramedic on Vols a, a few parts yeah. ago. Oh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought we were going to be introduced to a new robot body. You know, okay, I will say this, though. Um, I guess technically it does make sense that the Metal Gear in... Well, Metal Gear is technically the first Metal Gear, but uh, in hindsight, one has to wonder. Although, honestly, part of me wonders what the heck happened to that giant mecha, but that is not a detail we can get until until we reach Phantom Pain. Also, Dwebs, uh, for the robot the companion, you need to wait until the, the numerical next game, uh, and just for... Yep. It's well, technically not a... a the Mark II. It's not completely autonomous, it's more of an, an extension of what one of the characters does in order to keep up uh, with Snake. Let's just say... It's as close as you can yeah, get Let's it. just say in the next game, Otacon comes up with a way to help Snake more directly. <laughs> Casually places the C3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tia, what's your favorite mark of Metal Gear? You mean the model? Um, yeah. I get to go with Ray. Like, R Rex is cool for the classics and everything, but Ray is genuine objectively a visual improvement because you know it's more sleek if i have to be biased there's the model that we see in five which i will only again i will need this talking about it in a broad sense to not reveal anything else about it but strictly on design level because i think it, it looks cool but objectively i think ray is still actually you know still better i know that the franchise will try to prove otherwise that the whole can't be the classic but i do but Again, I do believe that in order to how in, sorry, in how it actually physically looks and the capabilities, oh yeah, this he was already asleep. One, no, that's the thing. Was, uh, one thing that's also in this game. I don't remember if this was already a thing in Sons of Liberty, um, or if it was premiered in this game. But uh, basically, Dwebs, uh, what happens is when you tranquilize someone, they have Z's coming out of their head, right? However. Uh, the closer they get to waking up, the less Z's come out of their head. So even then, like, you can actually see how close someone is to waking up by seeing how many Z's are uh, swirling over their head. Um, so if you see the only one Z instead of three, that means he's about to wake up. So basically, I, I, I shot, I gave him another bullet so to, so to you know, get him, get him to keep asleep. Alright, let's shut this puppy down. I actually forgot if that was or something... Not. Actually, forgot. Well, actually, well, none, well, no, none of the things are in there, Joe. I, I was just trying yeah. to show off what, what what's on here. Yeah, you know what? Also, you know what? Fuck the United States. Uh, is there the places where you need to place the C3, as Sigint told us, uh, are recognizable because yeah. they're basically giant these, black boxes. Yeah, uh, these things here. So they're very easy right. to spot. I, see, only one sure Z. No, one did, did, did you see how there was only one Z on that guy's no, end, no, and, no, and, no. and others, and others, yeah. I was certain that one of the places you needed to place it was also on the control panel near the top, but I no, guess I misremembered. No, it's only like three places, I think, where we need to put them. Snake, Eba. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. Cool. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. That should at least buy us some time. Alright, that should be go for our escape. How are things going on your end? I just finished planting the second charge. Give me a little more time. Okay, I'll be waiting for you at the bridge. Hey, all right, good. All right, so all I okay, so all I have to so all I have to do is plant two more C threes, blow the shit out of this warehouse, and then just leave. Sounds simple. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? What indeed? Two are that simple. How many parts are left? Well, one more after this for the main campaign. It's uh, because the emphasis on cutscenes leaves. Sure. Yeah, basically the final part is basically oh. ninety. The, for the for the final, you can think of the final part uh, of this play for as a ninety-minute movie commentary, basically. Which honestly, honestly, just consider that training for Metal Gear Solid. Well, keep in mind. Well, keep in mind the ninety minute. When I say ninety minutes, it's a ninety-minute part. Not all of it is cutscenes. There's actually quite a lot of gameplay in it as well. Uh, it's, like I said, consider it training for Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, sure, sure. When, the we yeah, when we get to four, yeah. When we get to four, we're actually going to have like entire parts that are nothing but cutscenes. Actually, yeah. Also, sorry, Pedro. There are no rations uh, in the trucks. So. Ah. 
Sorry. Fuck. Sorry, comrade. I need to pump up with a bit more. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is like in Goldeneye. So uh, throwing a tranquilizer dart on his leg somehow immediately. Um, Maybe this guy, maybe this guy's body is way too susceptible to it. Well, it, it depends. To be fair, it, it he was on... just waking up from being drunk, not so just he that, probably still not just that, Pedro. System. Sorry, not just that, Trova. It depends on the, the. Okay, obviously not for this game, but it depends on the part of it you get from the leg, Pedro. Again, if you don't know, in case you don't know, one of your major arteries uh, crosses uh, from the internal part of your thigh. Uh, in fact. Uh, it's demonstrated in in play in uh, you know a series like NCIS, if I recall correctly, by the coroner of that series. Uh, one easy way to make someone bleed out is to cut the inner part of their thighs, because mm -hmm. that way you literally recite one of the arteries. Consequentially, pumping a tranquilizer is the fastest way to have the chemicals reach the heart and the brain. The more you know, dun, 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 and dun. knowing is half the battle. All right. What is that sound? Waves. Ah. I thought that was the footsteps. Oh, oh boy, it seems it's still interesting, but uh, man, <laughs> they <laughs> just crushing time. But uh, it's, it's interesting okay. how how the how these people literally wake up like nothing happened despite being pumped, uh, you know, multiple times. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these Maybe people they must chalk it up to a bad dream. Again, let's let's just, let's, let's just hope that Olga's child is perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't, yeah. don't 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 worry, Theo. Uh, Olga's a str Olga's a strong girl. She she can uh, take it. Oh no 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 no! Olga will be fine. It's just you know what it might have done to the baby. Mm. Like, you know, we tell you in pregnancy, we'll get back to not, not, not assume alcoholic substances, for, for instance. Yeah, that is a cliche. Well, I can tell you this right now, because we have yet to have a game that actually tells this story anyway. Uh, in between Metal Gear Solid 2 and Metal Gear Solid 4, uh, it was actually Raiden that saved uh, August Child, and we're he going to see exactly where she is. And you go, yeah. Ba that. So basically, one of the first things that uh, Raiden did after the end of Metal Gear Solid 2 was actually try his best to save August Child from the Patriots, and we're going to see uh, what came of that in Metal Gear Solid 4 after this. Given how uber powerful the Patriots are, I can understand why people were a bit perturbed. We never got to see. How Raiden meant that, but... No, that, that was the original idea of Metal Gear Rising, but when Platinum took over, they rewrote the plot. Especially because, yeah, yeah, again, yeah, because uh, originally two, Rising was supposed to take place in between two, two and four. Case, but outside of the PMCs, uh, the Patriots were mostly mostly about mind games rather than physical, you know, mm -hmm. strength and everything. So Raiden going on a rampage is something that probably should have been planned potentially more yeah. carefully. And if you look at how Rising is structured, where it's more, you know, balls to the wall and everything, you can definitely tell that that kind of narrative <laughs> wouldn't have suited completely the Patriots. Uh, so and yet Rising... And yet, Rising still tries to have its stealth sequences. And don't get me wrong, I like the well, game. Well, they even but... have a line talking, discussing fair. about what the threat in that game is in the relation to the Patriots. To be fair, those bits were mostly just there to as a, as a cheeky little nod, and they weren't there to be like, oh, this is total. We can totally still do the same thing that the mainline games do. It was more. It was more just there to, uh, you know. As a cheeky little nod to to the to the main yeah, I'm series. I'm kind of losing track. How many containers are we missing? Uh, only one more, if I remember correct. Uh, let me see. Yeah, only one more. Uh, you still one C free charge left. And there we go. Yoink! All right. Hopefully, this should be enough. Absolutely. You still there, Shirin? Yes. Ah, okay. Always remember. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's cool, shut up. Snake, uh, you're not Sly Cooper. You don't need to leave your your calling card. Uh, 
Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. Okay. That was a very quick call. All right. Well, Should be right smooth there. sailing from here, right? Absolutely. Oh. Or not. Well, shit. I mean, he wasn't being very stealthy. Also, not, we, we don't have time for you. Okay. Oh, oh, great! Oh, the whole right. family! The whole crew is here. Great. It's like a real family reunion. Why'd you come back? Take a wild guess. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Ow! Always the arms with the boss. Yeah, the boss is a master physical fighter. She's not really someone that uh, is easy to take down at all. Trust me, even Smash Brothers Ultimate did her Ooh. justice in that spirit fight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, not. come on, man. Do you feel lucky? Oh. Uh, what, what, what? Yeah, and and, and yes, yeah, and yeah, the sorrow. It's it's well, well, no, we already established that. That's it's the sorrow. Uh, the sorrow's okay, ghost. I, I for, uh, maybe it was indicating the timer of the bombs. Uh, the, the, indicating the timer of the bombs too. Actually, yes. Uh, basically, throughout the this climax, uh, sorrow will, will help us by reminding us how much lo how longer we have. Basically. When she was how nice of him. What we found on her. Oh shit. Legacy. He got <laughs> right that thing. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the legacy. You might say that this film itself is the philosopher's legacy. So basically, that thing is worth millions. Uh, we need to get try to. that it's a piece of glass containing the microfilm. Oh, that's, that, this is common in spy. This is common in spy espionage movies too. There's always some kind of like small little thing that is worth millions. It has no, some no, kind I, of. I understand. I understand because with the, the ones that I know in terms of microfilm would be stored in like a small cylindric tube. So there you go, Shiro. It uh, turns out uh, it was thanks to the way she smelled that Oslot finally managed to figure out that she's the mole. Uh, so there you go, Stuart. That, that, all that sniffing amounted to something, at least. Alright, close your eyes. Still weird. Well, shit. You see, Shira, you, 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 you have to think of, Shira, you have to think of us a lot like a, hu a, a, a puppy in a, a human body. Like, uh, he he uses his puppy I mean, he's people's bitch pretty often. So. Yeah. Uh, I thought the, um, I thought the twist of this gate, of this bit's gonna be, by the way, if you don't finish this cutscene within the time limit, it's game over. Yes. It would have been interesting, oh. but no. I mean, some games do not have that kind of mercy. We're, we're about to have a, a boss battle that goes on for a while, Dweb, so that wouldn't really work. So I understand why the game wouldn't go that far. Like, in story, the timer is going on, but in gameplay, it's not. Like, basically, because that way the boss, the player can fight the boss battle better there, that way. I mean, Dweebs, it's kind of what happened, like what happened with Goldfinger in the climax, so. Ow. Also, yes, her lipstick did actually add a weapon inside. Mm-hmm. How handy. You dirty whore. I've had enough oh. kisses from you. Okay. Jesus. Oh no, he hit her so much that her hair clipped through her outfit. <laughs> uh, Jova, Jova. She, it's a condition and she's very uh, s uh, sensitive about it, okay? Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful. Yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it. All right. So let's see what exactly Since that thing I'm is. I'm certain you're going to die. Uh, they're after. very also, kind of you. I think this is the first time <laughs> Snake tried to directly talk to Volgin. America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. New, 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 new world order. Three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war 
five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. <laughs> we yeah, because you sound yeah, so yeah, Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Power, also, do they even sound Russian? We've been over this time. My father was one of the men in charge of managing yeah, the Yeah, we were being told about this. So. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. Money was divided up, laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. Of course, Switzerland. <laughs> this microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. So essentially, the philosopher's legacy is the motherload of all After bank record death, accounts. Basically. Obtained the microfilm. It comes down to money. With this money, the support of Brezhnev and his allies. Speci specifically, also the war economy. Yep. You know, you gotta love how when a big military scheme comes but down to one big money Brennan laundering. Always like there you go. And Granin failed to produce results. And that's why they resorted to Sokolov making the shotgun. How ironic. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once won, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. And then someone shoots in mid exposition. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. And that's where the Shagahad comes that in. Trump card was to be the Shagohad and the Cobra unit. Well, yeah, same kind of about the Cobra. Well, one, yeah, one of, the, one of those has already been kind of, yeah. Well, hey, we still got um, the Shagahad. The joy left, so. Oh yeah. I have lost the Cobras, but I still yeah. have the Shagohad and the Legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Wanna bet? America, fuck yeah. Fuck Where's no. Team America? Will you lead them? Please. Really um. now? <laughs> Take good care of it. You got it. Oops. He wouldn't have I squished it in my hand. In he had a Starts juggling it. <laughs> he must be planning some sort of sabotage. God damn. Yeah, the boss is pretty much. Uh, there's a reason why she's. Do oh, hold on. This is important, actually. I'll dispose of her as well. Oh, uh, what, did you, what did you, uh, what did you say, boss? <laughs> How did you not hear her say that? Volgin she is kind of whispered You may realize there's now her. only, but we, Volgin is kind of dumb. Fight like a warrior, Volgin. But of course. It's all those what? dents in his head. What did, what did you course. say? Shoot him? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's also not job. <laughs> okay, I'll have Ocelot shoot him. But yeah, like I was saying, yeah, the, the, that's why she's called, that's why she has the title of the boss. She's pretty much the perfect soldier. She's physically uh, uh, perfect and uh, she's also incredibly intelligent. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> it looks cool, okay? <laughs> it's like a magical girl sequence. You can't do anything until this bullshit is done. <laughs> yeah, the thing is like, fuck my life. And no more field strips. Oh. That's very nice. <laughs> Can we get to the <laughs> point, Wolf? 
<laughs> it is as long as the magical girl sequence. <laughs> uh, oh, that's messing. Messing is a uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Just sit him already. For four, all right, five. Fuck yeah, I'll do it. All right, it's time for our final fight. Fi fi our boss battle against Vogan. Nah, now stand by and watch as I. Yeah. Oh, what did uh, you wasted time twirling your guns. <laughs> it was about presentation. Excuse yes, me. Your presentation it... cost us valuable time. Uh, oh. Some of us are a better class of criminal. <coughs> oh. Yeah, you're missing something. Ha. Yeah. Huh. Okay, according to the sorrow, we have seven minutes left. Thanks. Good luck with that. Thanks. Sorry for the delay. Yeah, no kidding. Let's get started, shall we? Yeah, that's that's the reason why this is like sixty percent movie. This is most of it is just the evil village shall we go i will argue metal gear solid 3 has a good balance of cutscenes and gameplay that's why i said 60 percent not uh like say 80. i guess uh... Let's make it a good one. i mean I, I i i think snake eater is on the 50 uh 50 ratio i will argue <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Snake Eater is a much has probably one of the better balances of gameplay and story. Volgin, that was a perfectly good suit when you just burned. You could have took took it out normally. I know. I hate when villains do that. No, but this is uh, his more threatening villain uh, villainous suit. Oh no, I, I get that, but you know, take the jacket out normally <laughs> instead of burning it up. <laughs> but that's not cool enough. But it's a waste. Yeah, Alright, it's 5 minutes and 45. Long. Okay. Oh. And yeah, um, Ocelot wanted to take care of us ourselves, himself, so guess what? He's good. <laughs> like, okay, fine. Here, just to make it a bit of a fair fight. Yeah, yeah. Ocelot is actually going to help us without this boss battle. Every time we need ammo, he'll just throw it to us. You're oh. pretty good. Uh, why? Because he doesn't want Big Boss to die here because he still wants to take them on himself. He still also wants to have a, you know, a good fight because uh, thanks to his pop, pop Not to mention pop, the... he wants to just pry Wait, 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 hold on guys. You're telling me that Ocelot, who despite his bravado is pretty level-headed, may not want to work for the utterly insane criminal mastermind who is... Kind of, let's be honest. Well, again, Joe, a little cuckoo. It, it, has, it, it has been part of his... Um, of his oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, that being said, um, well, remember, uh, Dwibs. Um, oh, it, man, it, you're not using the revolver. Come on. Not it's just that. Uh, there are also some minor Easter eggs. In space. You know how in the last couple of Zelda games, if you have like a joke item being used in the final battles, uh, Ganondorf or their equivalent, uh, you know, would just get distracted. Mm -hmm. If I recall correctly, if you toss a specific animal, like a frog, Volgin will actually be distracted for a second, but then hit you and tell you why did you do do that. <laughs> so yeah, we have to fight. So yeah, um, here's the fight between Luke Skywalker and Emperor Palpatine, not Patina, I guess. Um, Don't remember, Emperor <laughs> 6 going this way. But uh, yeah, well, not, to, not to mention, as remember, both Ocelot and Big Boss have to make it out of here alive, otherwise we'll have a time paradox. So. Yeah, I mean, come on, you gotta use the revolver. It's symbolic and also, you know, well, that's thematic. The thing. Uh, you the... still need to shoot him, but if I recall correctly, the ideal strategy is to do, use the CQC to put him down and then shoot him. Mm -hmm. it... Remember, for all his bravado, he's not that good at close quarters. The basic so, idea yeah. is that you have to wait until he starts. Uh, while while he's doing his um, lightning bolts, of course, he's uh, uh, you can't really damage him, especially with CQC. Um, and even if you try to shoot at him, um, the bullets will not work. So you have to wait for an opening where he's not surrounded by lightning. Why does the music start to sound like Crazy City? I was thinking it sounds a bit like a Crash Bandicoot Freeze Techno City. Dun, 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 dun. 
All right. It sounds a bit also like a Crash Bash tune, too. Mm hmm. A bit too slow for that, though. There you go. So, let me guess. If you run out of time, it blows up. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Snake! Snake! But hey, at least you know the Shaka Hat is destroyed, so there's yeah, that. Yeah, that still creates a time climb paradox, Drova. So, we can all have that. Yeah, we have, Big Boss like, has to make. Not only will Ocelot. No, no, not only will Ocelot be dead, but so will Big Boss. Alright, now we'll enter phase two of the fight. What are you so tired about? You were just shooting him from afar. <laughs> Pathetic. Mm. Oh, now you want me to. Yeah, now you want me to. In the back. Do you hear me? I said shoot him. Oh, now you want me to shoot him. Huh. Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're not Island Thousand. Can't. I made a promise to the boss. What? I outrank the boss. I am your commander. Yeah, actually, that's basically what he's saying. Actually, yes. You're my commanding officer, but you're not my senpai. So fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's actually that's actually basically it. Actually. <laughs> No, I'm telling you are no, uh, 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 Alright, that's my turn. Like, are you, are you Cartman? Stop crashing my apartment! Huh? Oh, Fight like a man, Volgin. Volgin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard what I said. You're supposed to say Colonel Volgin. <laughs> Show me your worth that That's title. Mr. Colonel Volgan to you. No. Repeat, explosives have been detected. All non EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! Mm, what if I said no? Hey, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Don't You're die pretty good. Boss. Yeah, get it. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, no hard feelings Aye. about the eye. Ready for some more snake. Alright, so now... Yeah, Vol yes. Alright, so now Vulcan's mad, so... He's not... Uh, yeah. There you go, see. Unlimited! Power snake! Yeah, rem remember what uh, he also did in the pre in previous cutscenes throughout the entire game. His specialty is to use uh, this electricity to kinetically charge, I guess, bullets uh, to use them, like, yes. know, out of his hands. How uh. oh, glorious. Basically. So, watch out for those two. Oh god, he literally strays side to side. Yep. Yeah, he also has a gun that he uses. Uh, like you said, he, there he you has go. the bullets and uses the electricity powers he controls to ignite uh, the single bullet. As you just saw, uh, the time where he is indeed shooting with a gun, that's a good time because in that point he's not surrounded by lightning, so that's a good opportunity. If you manage to dodge the, the bullets uh, and then shoot him immediately. Uh, Alright, we're almost there. Again, uh, so it's a shame you're not using the revolver. I always the, use the, the revolver. The reason I'm using the AK-47 yeah. is because it has a lot more bullets in its uh, per charge, so it's much easier. Uh, to do that yeah, because with the, the revolver is more powerful with its shots. It is, but uh, I find the AK-47 to be more efficient. For a, for a fight like this, uh, a, a weapon with more bullets, I find it to be more efficient personally. I'm actually surprised Kojima didn't limit players to using the revolver and the knife as weapons in this, uh, given how he usually tends to orient his games in correlations with the story. There we go. Well, he fought Vulcan like a man with guns. I'm proud of that guy. I, well, like Tail usually says, uh, uh, practical problems require practical solutions. I'm alive. I leave the beach. Uh, not a now, big explosion. Now, 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 you will die. Yeah, it's pretty fun, I guess. 
Is he done with his nonsense yet? Uh, yes. Again, I love how throughout the entire game, uh, Snake only directly talked and, you know, addressed the ball game verbally once. Mm -hmm. Well, as we've seen uh, uh, at this point in the timeline, oh, Big Boss is not... At, at, at this point in the timeline, Big Boss is not exactly much of a talker. Anyway. Oh, true, but he did talk a bit. With, like, even with Ocelot, even in their first encounter, mm -hmm. it's actually like, it's more of an interesting to all the script. Well, to like we like we He's like we know from the future games, uh, he took he he took to us a lot, especially. Also, see Ocelot is happy. Senpai still yes, alive. Yes, Senpai still alive. you will kill him later. Yay! Yay. Like, like I said, I'm proud of him. He fought Vulcan like a man with guns. Hey, Eva. So we kind of we kind of need to leave him. Oh, yeah, come on, let's go, Eva. Oh, wow, wow, you. You recovered fast. <laughs> also, Shuri, these are his younger, the younger years. Uh, All right, um, get ready. It's all them cigarettes. The game because things are about to get a bit insane. Not to mention adrenaline. <laughs> and there we go. Hopefully, this will take care of the Shaggy Hog. Oh, absolutely. I do like this touch. How the soldiers, uh, when, uh, the soldiers are actually helping each other. That's a nice touch there. But they kind of had to. They're not just mindless ghouls. Uh. How did you? The boss let me go. Huh. Boss. Why? Yeah, but why though? Right yeah, that's for later. Yeah, we kind of we we'll, we'll take care of that later. I've still got one last job to do. Yeah. Well, well remember, uh, Joe. Uh, so he has to kill the boss. Oh. Yeah. She's not here. She's at the lake. She's waiting for you there. What is this, a samurai duel? <laughs> but there's no flaming house where to, Naruto to stand on. There's a and flaming no building scores. right over there. <laughs> I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Something that HR is not amused by. <laughs> I guess I just uh. don't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, that's about good. that. <laughs> it's fine. For fuck's Wait sake. a minute. You're not supposed to be able to walk. <laughs> There we it's are. Really crawling out. Jesus, that thing looks so. Oh. Maybe just drive. <laughs> there is no escape. How are you still alive? Sir? I have no idea. Well, remember. Uh, that could be said for a lot of the characters at the moment. To well, be well, 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 remember, it's like uh, liquid I at the end of at the climax of MGS one. Um, okay, I'll admit, part of me wonders if maybe we should have saved the whole telling one of the bosses for after the sequence, All right, uh, like I said, for this final sequence, <laughs> things are a bit crazy because the camera decides to go apeshit for this chase. Well, it's more Alas. so... Well, the idea too is that um, uh, basically the camera is usually uh, turned to where uh, Eva is um, driving. Uh, right now it's in first person, but that's because I'm using the first person name. Yeah, but in a lot of in a lot of occasions, depending on you know where Eva drives properly, the camera will actually be fixed, uh, and as such, it will be a bit disorienting. All right. So the basic idea is this: Eva will, uh, on her own, drive us to safety. However, we have to protect ourselves and her. As you'll, you'll notice, that Eva now has her own life bar with her own stamina gauge and everything. So you also have to put her aside from yourself. The Shaggy Hut itself also has a life bar. However, we will not be taking it down quite just yet. For now, just focus on escaping. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Sometimes uh, Eva will have to stop because there are soldiers in the way and we have to use our guns uh, to kill them, so do that. 
Thankfully, we have uh, you know an AK-47 when you need ammo for this. So. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, kind just of amazing how Snake is managing to keep the equilibrium on this fight. The, the uh, you know having to use a, a semi-automatic weapon mm -hmm. while standing on. Basically, standing on the edge. Um, no. But uh, yeah, no. Like I said, one gripe I do have is like I feel like we should have gotten the sequence before the dramatic lead up to the boss waiting at the lake. Because as it is, this feels like Vulcan just stepping on the moment. Which, granted, yeah, you could definitely uh, describe Vulcan as someone who just ruins the moment, but still. So, uh, it's, uh, Eva thought that they were safe, so she didn't see the need to save it for later, I guess. Yeah. Well, like I said, Amikul, well, story-wise, I feel like it would have been better for us to, like, get that bit about the boss after, you know, sure. we were for certain done with Vulcan, because... I don't know, it, as it is, it just feels like something that's kind of a bit of a weird interjection. Alright. Also, those, also, those <laughs> jiggle physics on Eva. Okay, legit though. Who? Like. Even roars. <laughs> of course, it's going. Well, this is the. Pro well, this is the prototype of Metal Gear, so. And what a prototype! Like, oh yeah, we make it so that it can drag itself, but not make it that it can actually, you know, walk. The bridge is on the other side of the runway. We'll have to cut through the middle of the base. You ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. You don't say. Yeah, we kind of move oh. out. Oh my God, no, not now. It's not the time. Oh, 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 uh Nope. Fuck, I missed. Of all times to be shit at this. <laughs> oh no. I am not letting them get away again. He would catch up a lot faster mm. if he was less flashy. <laughs> no. But sure, but sure, I like um uh, being flashy is one of his major quirks. <laughs> He also knows, of course, this is also very reminiscent. Uh, this, is, this, this is also kind of this is, this is also very reminiscent of the escape in Metal Gear Solid One, where uh, Meryl is driving us to safety as well. Mm -hmm. Again, you can tell that that was the primary idea after the after the uh, the MGS2 backlash. Try to make something more familiar. Is that a cleaver? What the hell is that? That was um, Wait, a. No, no, Shiri was talking about the, the attachment that Robert used. Uh, essentially, Shiri was an attachment that uh, would have been used the revolver as like of a more precise, stable weapon to avoid ricocheting. Mm. Oh no! And also, probably. Oh. Yeah. RPG! The oh, you <laughs> just have that on yeah. hand, of course. <laughs> well, we are, I did have one with me, so that makes sense, actually. They're getting their mileage out of these slides. Bye. Next time. Curses foiled again. Then, <laughs> do everything you can to stop them so that I can finally have my one on one duel with that snake. Snake. You know, I in no way see these two becoming the best of friends in the business. Well, technically, Jova, I think I, I consider Ocelot and Big Boss more like uh, partners who respect each other. I will argue. We, I will argue that other person that you know who it is is actually Big Boss's proper best friend. I mean, no, 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 I mean, by the time of Metal Gear Solid 4, Ocelot is... Oh, no. He definitely sees Big Boss oh, as no, the well, best no, Joe, but, Metal Gear Solid 4. Well, Joe, but no, we know that Ocelot wants to fuck Big Boss. That's not a secret to anyone at this point. We all know that. Um, but Big Boss doesn't want to fuck him in return. That's the thing. 
I mean, he well, respects him as he respects him, but he doesn't want to fuck him. I mean, it's. Uh, I'm, like this, I'm, like. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Ocelot, but I only, uh, but I'm only like you as a friend. Um, <laughs> Go on. So cold. Go on, Java. Yeah, no, I mean, I would, I, I would say that going off of the Big Boss Saga and Metal Gear Solid Four, that I'd say that they definitely did see each other as friends in the end, for sure. Oh, they do. At the very least, that. They do, but I wouldn't say. Uh, but I wouldn't say Big Boss sees uh, Ocelot as his best friend. That one character that uh, we're going to see in, in the next Big Boss game. Uh, well, in the next mainline, maybe also again. Uh, yes, you know, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, really, that one. I mean, I mean, let's. Fa well, I can say the name without spoiling anything. Like, Ka I would argue Kaz is the most proper uh, character to pick, like as the proper b best friend of Big Boss. I mean, he's the one who helps him on the most, and the the ones who, you know. Tell me what I do. I see those three as like the three musketeers, thicker than thieves and all that. Sure, if it helps you. War with you know who, but he had to screw stuff up in Phantom Pain. <laughs> well, technically, well, yeah, we learned what happened in Phantom Pain, but technically, it happened in between this and the next game. But uh, we'll, we'll get, we'll talk no, about no, that no. later. You do know who I'm talking about, right? Uh, yes, um, I think whatever. I whatever. Not well, really important right now. That thing was still going, and it looks all the more ridiculous for it. And guess what? Drill! Yeah, remember, drill, the drills drill. are actually what... The drills are what help the turbo Oh, you're still here. Yeah, Volgi is directly piloting the Shaggle. Remember, it's, it's, it's like, it's like Liquid at the at the climax of MGS1. Like, uh, his, uh, his first for, for blood is unquenchable. You know, I mean, give Ocelot credit, he keeps coming back, but at least he can look cool doing it. Vulcan just seems like that guy who doesn't know when to quit and just ends up looking all the more ridiculous for it. Mm -hmm. Which, don't get me wrong, makes it all the more satisfying to take him down, but Jesus, also, dude! I forgot because it might have been, it was probably most definitely explained when Eva met, uh, met Snake in the the cave behind the waterfall. What happened to Sokolov? Okay, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't, I forget if this game covers it, but I, I know, know that... I know he shows uh, up again in Portable Ops, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was gonna say, if this game doesn't cover it, Portable Ops uh, does clarify that he actually faked his death, like, you know, he faked being dead mm -hmm. by Vulcan shooting him, and actually managed to heal himself, because he's a doctor, of course, and basically got out with, uh, I think it may have been help from Eva, or... If I remember correctly, we... If I remember correctly, we do get a line about that in the ending, so... Okay, then. Let me... Yeah, if we don't get that, I can just double check. But even yeah, e even if not, we have, there's portable ops for that anyway, so... Right, uh... We... Oh! Uh, okay. Now I remember, but... Oh, hold on. Ha, a plane! So. No planes can stop me! <laughs> that's... That's harsh. I mean, it's, it's, it's and of course, Ocelot's still, coming right from behind, of course. <laughs> it's still an improvement because being Soviet technology, the fact that you don't explode at the minimal, you know, impact, so that's a, that's a blast. So. You won't be getting away this time. Engage CO Nitro. Oh yeah, boy. basically. <laughs> that crazy fool. Did he, did he go into war? Uh. Engage. Uh, yes, please, remember. That yeah. was literally my kill he stole! That's the entire, the entire stick of the Shagahog. Warp speed? To, it's supposed to actually create a massive acceleration so that the nuclear payload will have a head start without necessarily having too much of it's a okay. pilot on its own. It's okay, Snake. I know, I, I know a few maneuvers. We'll lose them. And yet, and yet somehow our motorcycle is still outrunning that thing. Uh, Eva. That was your maneuver, moving slightly to the left. Well, we're not in the same place we were before. Hmm? That ought to confuse them. <laughs> yeah, but I'm pretty oh, sure. Sh actually but, is catching up. Yeah, but all you did was move slightly to the left. I'm pretty sure he can keep up. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure not much can scratch you. Uh, okay, might as well explain something like, as you might have noticed uh, on the bottom right corner, throughout this entire chase climax, uh, our guns have unlimited ammo, just to make sure. Oh uh, yeah, I mentioned that before. Yeah. A bandana helps. Absolutely. Definite ammo. Ow. Hey, genius, why don't you try shooting the drills? Well, I that's actually that's actually what we're going to do for the final boss uh, battle. But right now we're in the I chase part. I think cannot work. I think you I maybe it. had to shoot the turrets and the miniguns instead. I forgot if they actually can get damaged or not. Because remember, Eva is ow ow ow. Just walk it off. Just walk. Just walk it off. Mm -hmm. Walk it off. Yeah, All right, we made well. Well, at least we made it to the rail bridge. To my ass. Well, at least we made it to the rail bridge. So let's go. And now for Eva's ultimate maneuver. Gonna be slightly um, to the right. Wing. Power slide. U turn. Uh, What's that? What? It was foggy surprise face. Damn, damn woman, you can drive. Remember, she used that motorcycle to literally yeah. kick Ocelot in the face. And climb up and climb uh, you know a vertical surface by like Bayonetta. Well that looks like a fun way so, to So yeah, if we blow up the bridge right after going through it, we should be able to make the Shagahot fall into the into the river. We'll lure him over towards the other side. When the Shagahot is on the bridge, shoot the explosives. The bomb is planted on the strut of the bridge. Wait, okay. which strut? There's like four of them. Yes. Sir. Seriously, I have to wonder, what was Sokoloff thinking when he programmed in a roaring function for that thing? Uh, scare tactic? Scare or? tactic. I, yeah. I <laughs> well, well, then again, I would like to remind you that, again, this is not really too much of a spoiler. Some Metal Gear models in the next uh, numerical game fucking have cow moves. Uh, yeah. Like uh, yeah, at, 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 at this point, brothers, I believe you, you, you see, you see, Jova. Um, Metal Gear creators—they uh, like to inject their own unique personality into whatever new model of Metal Gear they're making, because you know, it, personal touch. One Metal, how weird is it that the Metal Gear literally called Rex doesn't roar? From what I recall, actually, it does, it, it does actually. Never mind, then my mistake. Weird, I could have sworn it didn't. Wait, hold on. Um, does it actually roar in Metal Gear Solid 1? Yes, it does. Remember, Jova, that's uh, the entire sequence of Grey Fox's death. Uh. Yep. Alright. Uh, Sound never a snake. Uh. Only, only the Metal Gears we fight in... Oh, we're literally going to take it out Lone yeah. Ranger style. Nice. The only Metal Gears that don't roar are the ones from the MSX games, and that is most likely because of limitations at the time more than an actual intentional decision. Stay on target. Shoot it now. <laughs> no, no, we have to wait till the Shagahot is on... We have to wait till the Shagahot is on the bridge. Yeah, we, we just have to do, have, let Eva tell us. So. Yeah, Eva will tell us. Again, literally. Come it's on. literally us playing Roadrunner and Wile E. Coyote there you go. Again, essentially. Stank. Well, it's a good thing also to stand behind this whole could actually miss this part. No! <gasps> no! My revolver! No! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I am either going to kill that man, or I am going to end up heavily respecting him for having the guts to mess with my guns. You know, like so there's this guy called Cypher Almasy. You two probably may get along well. Hey, he even programmed a dying roar sound for it, in case it was defeated. Yeah. How nice of Sokolov. Yeah. Sokolov out of everything. Me. Well, that's why Sokolov is a genius scientist, uh, Jova. He thinks of everything. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I believe I'm you, 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 you didn't... You didn't... You didn't... <laughs> 
Snake, you didn't think you could complete this game without a Metal Gear boss battle, could you? But it's not a Metal Gear. Fuck well, is a Metal Gear? Well, technically it's a prototype Metal Gear, so it still counts. Also, yeah, what female me said, what the hell is a Metal Gear? Ava, you take care of the driving. Yeah? Y you think? I mean, we kind of did it all right, so. Kind of what we've been doing. Yeah, that's what we've been doing for this entire climax, anyway. Hold on, I like this one. Let's do it. Oh. Hey, now he's really? looking at the face. First person key, so that's cute. He finally got to that legendary first base. Did you notice how before the kiss they were holding hands? Yeah. Oh yeah. How lewd. Now it's time to go for the happens. home run! Alright. Somewhere Ocelot is crying. Yeah. Alright, <laughs> Eva and Snake versus the Shagahad. Here we go. Round one. Alright, so, like Teo said, in order to. The, first, we need to immobilize the Shagahad by um, shooting the. Um, Drova suggested it for us. Oh, was yeah. it? Was it? Okay. Well, the, yeah. the point is we have to take care of the drills first. Um, because I always wonder why they didn't do that initially while he was charging at them, since the drills were obviously what was powering the thing. I get the potentially console limitations, Jova. I get the idea that, you know, if it was done for the PS3, you know, it would have been a case of where the chase sequence would have been through the drills, you know, to keep keep the, the, uh, the chaser at bay. Okay, so... So, potential for the remake. So, since um, the Shagahad obviously is a very uh, hardened vehicle, obviously the, the RPG uh, rockets are the best uh, and the only way to, I think it's the only, pretty much the only way to, do, to damage it. The point is, yeah, basically if you try to shoot him from the front, um, it doesn't work, like he just said. Uh, I didn't feel a thing. So we have to shoot him from behind. However, in order to shoot him from behind, we have to first immobilize him, because if we try to just... Evo is constantly driving around him. You know, to try to get us uh, to shoot him from behind. Problem is, he keeps uh, moving as well, so we have to immobilize him first. Uh, uh, at the same time that this is going on, on... I wonder if in the remake they'll provide controls that allow the player to control both the motorcycle and the gunplay at the same time. Um, if they do, they will have to change the dialogue because, uh, you know, like uh, in here, like this thing, oh, leave, I'll leave the driving to you. So I guess they would have to change it to, we both drive, oh. maybe? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. I think the dialogue can stay the same. It's just that the player will have a means to control, you know, both Eva driving the motorcycle oh, okay. and I guess. handling the gun. It's also but... weird because uh, the, around, well, not necessarily this time, but remember, for the PS2, um, the original Shadow of the Colossus was released, and that one manages to provide complex maneuvers such as driving in different directions and having to properly turning around and aiming at the same time. There we it's go. for the dirge boss fight, if you recall. Yeah, also, you'll notice that, that we have three health bars. There's Snake, the Shakahads, and Eva's. Mm -hmm. There you go. Isaac, fortunate... Also, the music oh. for this fight is so great. Boisterous and beautiful. Indeed. Um, make sure you try your best to um, to not let Eva. If I remember correctly, already by this point, I think you can already give a ration to Eve. I think. Oh, uh, I I forgot. I mean, um, it, basically, don't worry. This doesn't spoil anything. After this sequence, eating each other rations. How lewd. <laughs> yeah, indirect kiss maybe. Yeah. That, that's the thing that, that, that they do all, the, all that thing all the time in anime, the, the indirect kiss thing. Like, it's just like... like that, that's, a, that's such a pen thing, right? Because over here, people don't give a shit about that stuff. Like, drinking from the uh, water of someone who drank... I mean, well, I, 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 I can tell you... Okay. I can tell you that's not a thing over here, at least. <laughs> Aside from notification, there's kind of an hygiene kind of thing, Pedro. Well... I mean... That was actually a plot point in a Steven Universe episode. I mean, I mean, me and Vanessa share drinks and stuff like that, and we're still here and fine. I don't, I don't. Well, not on a lethal case, Pedro, but you know, even on a minimal case, like one of them has a cold and the other doesn't, that shit will get you contagious. I guess. All right, there we go. Basically, uh... Okay, you like electricity? Why don't you have some now? <laughs> Well, the idea is that the, the electricity on the thing that it's more to indicate that the drill is not working anymore. It's not so much exactly that. Exactly my point. Now let's turn to, to the other. Oh fuck! Oh, hold on. 
Mais gros frac. Oh fuck. Non. Alright. There we go. Sorry, Vulcan. The point. Yeah, from this angle, it's a bit difficult. There's also the feeling that the Paracord for yeah, this this rocket launcher doesn't really give you a uh, right fuel. That uh, you have to base yourself on the position of the actual, you know, the actual rocket. Because otherwise, you notice also the the when the battle started with terrible strength wave, but the rockets were gave, were way off track as a result. Uh, there's also the recoil. Like obviously, when you shoot this thing, there's a shit ton of recoil. So. No, it's more like again, it's more a case of where to aim because again, this is not having a, a reticule means that you have to approximate mm -hmm. you know, where to operate. This is why a lot of the older shooters like Doom position the, the weapon that you carry in first person front and center because that gave you an idea where where you're aiming at, you know. While instead the, starting with the second uh with games like Halo, they would be no I even golden I technically, but the, more modern, let's say more modern shooters after that, you will position the weapon on the right, you know, if the character is the next user, mm -hmm. um, you know, to, to be a, have a more realistic looking to it. I guess. Who are you commanding? Yourself, yeah. He's, he's, a, kind of well, he, he's a military, so he's used to, like, I, I get, or maybe he keeps him sane, who knows. For a show. No, the. There we go. This oh, can't be! Man. How's this? Can't be! That is literally an Eggman quote from Sonic Battle. Mm -hmm. And yes, like most there Eggman are. quotes during there fights. So now it's over, right? Okay, if ever there were a boss that, you know, is willed the big explosion end, this is it. Did we beat him? Do we have a one-liner snake for before the last punch? No, not yet. How many times do I have to kill you before you stay dead? So yeah, because Volging is a sore loser... No shit. <laughs> He literally rips the shit out of the cables of the Shagohod in order to control it directly using his electricity power. What is your problem? He hates to lose. I'll either kill you, Snake, or I'll die trying! Well, dying is on the plan, so I can go with that second. Get off! What? what? I'm gonna lure it back here. Yeah, Eva would be the bait, while Snake Snake will have to actually aim squarely at Logan. Which again, um, I believe Batman's into us having... I appreciate the courage, um, uh, Eva, but handling him as a man is different than handling him in as a fucking Metal Gear. <laughs> we'll fight him as a man on foot against him and a giant tank. This makes sense. <laughs> uh, that gesture is meant to be like fuck off, basically. For those who don't know. Without the middle finger. It's basically a way, it's basically a way for Kojima to have her give him the middle finger without actually giving him the middle finger. It also depends on the country, because again, for Japan, that kind of gesture instead is supposed to be a vampire. Alright, here we go. Alright. It's now or never. It's now or never. <laughs> You know, to aim squarely at a moving, a small moving target. Have fun. Indeed. I wouldn't call that small. <laughs> That's the yeah, thing we don't mean not either, obviously. That's the thing, Shiro. You have to aim at so only at Volgin. The, you know, damaging the shackle does nothing. Yep. Because oh. Volgin oh, is okay, pretty then. much. <laughs> because Volgin is essentially forcing that thing to move on, no matter how damaged. That's why you are recommended to oh. use the. Um, you are recommended to use the sniper rifle for this instead. There you go. See, there you go. See, you can. There you go. See, you can still mobilize it though. Oh, 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 oh Eva. Eva. Really? Sorry. Say, Eva can, can still trump Sorry. Her. Sorry, Eva. Snake. My bad. Damn it! I thought we were on the same team. 
Shoot we invite, faster! We invite, also, invite with all due respect, <laughs> try, try not to lead him right. With all due respect, try not to lead him right towards me. There we go. Um, let's try. Let's try the. Oh, Eva. <laughs> Uh, Again? Really? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Eva, like he was immobilized. Eva, he was immobilized at that point. What Go climb on that tower over there. there. Like, I'm there. sorry, I'm not very good at driving. <laughs> <laughs> and meanwhile, Oswald is watching this with binoculars and was like, you know what? Maybe today isn't all too bad after all. Yep. Eva, I swear, if you run me over again. There we go. Is he secretly oh, on the side of the villains? No. <laughs> it, it was an accident. She's trying her best. Look, 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 I'm being chased by a giant contraption uh, and, and trying my best to keep him retained here, okay? Give me a, uh, give me a break. I've been chased by giant things Hell. I don't run people over. With all due respect, Eva, if if every bone in my body is broken from being run over by a motorcycle, I can't exactly do my part. Oh shut up! Oh shut up! You get you get you have the cure menu to heal yourself instantly of bone injuries. Wits, when it comes to video games, you're the last person who should be talking about running people over. Yeah, that yeah, too. That too. Wait, 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 I don't run people over. I just shoot them. Wibs, we Are you proud? Are you proud of what you just said, Wibs? Yeah, yeah, because because at least when I shoot them, they die instantly. Wibs, it may have been years, but I remember how chaotic your GTA 5 run was, and I and you try to and then you reverse over them. Yeah, in fact, I remember you. You literally helped a woman whose purse was stolen, only to then kill the woman whose purse was stolen! <laughs> I can get the money, I told you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Again, Alright, right, uh, just, just for a forewarning, aside from the obvious photosensitive, but this death is kinda of gruesome. I love that in the cutscene, Snake was supposed to be aiming through the, the eye patch. Oh look, it's raining! How symbolic! Hallelujah. All right, somebody give me some fantastic audio description of how. Oh, they trust me. I said from the game audio. I will. Hold on. Oh god, he's going into the avatar stage. Yeah, and us. Uh, his car's just glowed. Oh, and now it's raining. I forgot that there was a cutscene before where he wasn't afraid of uh, they, 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 the boss teased him about being afraid of the actual thunder. Yeah. Remember, Volgin has his suit that allows him to use electrical power, but he doesn't control the weather. Alright, and now Volgin goes full Ultra Instinct. Gun, 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 gun. Oh, no. And then he gets struck by a bolt of lightning! Literal echo act of God, uh, which... And that Sets him on fire! Uh, God, God, uh, His own ability! God, God, God was watching this, you know what, I'm tired of you! And because he switch catches fire, he starts malfunctioning, which means it's the equivalent of someone good for to share mix it with popcorn sound because you know he, he also gets put with shrapnels of uh, the bullets that he was having on his band of the I think this wait is the minute. first game in the series where a death is like this gruesome. Uh, Tio, keep in mind that Big Boss himself will literally be set on fire. That's, yeah, true, true, Drova, but again, compared to this, uh, that wasn't really that, uh, you know, particular, like... Uh, I say it's only because it was done in pixel art. If it had been done... Ah, uh, well, look at this, Yuri. Look, uh, uh, there you go. I love this one. Ah, oh, look at that fire! Oh, the fireworks. fireworks in the background. <laughs> Literal fireworks <laughs> as Vulcan goes off. Good. Now die quicker, you're ruining the mood. <laughs> I'm not dead, you'll be stone dead in a moment. Oh. Oh. Come on, guys, right. really? We, can we I just get some the, break? We forgot that the Russians apparently had flying it's vehicles. Just... They fly now? Yeah, they fly now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a second there... For, for a second there, they were doing the Casino Royale uh, theme before Casino Royale. Let's keep going. A rest for the wicked. That would be that would be Sorry, funny. Because in a way, I'll rip the snake eater off. 
<laughs> I will say this though, Vulcan's body is surprisingly intact, all things considered. Here we go. Ah, the wardrobe is dead. Alright, everybody. Considering this game rips off Bond, you know, they kind of uh, thought it would be, uh, you know, fair uh game. Yeah, all right, everybody. In the next part, uh, we experience the epic, emotional, and a absolutely amazing conclusion to Snake Eater. See you then. Yeah. See ya. That's all. Bye.